Well, crocodilians, which are the alligators and the crocodiles, are one of the most successful groups of predators uh, in history. These animals have been around for 85 million years. In order to really understand the success of an animal, you need to understand how it makes a living. And so, first and foremost, we needed to understand how alligators and crocodiles work and, and what they're capable of doing. And uh, with crocodilians, the, the key to their success is, is, is clearly in the head. It's, uh, it's all about the, the, the bite forces they can gener generate with these prodigious muscles and what happens up here in the snouts, how they convey that bite force uh, into tooth pressures. So if we can understand basically the working end of the animal here, we can get a better understanding of uh, how they uh, make a living today and also how they made a living in the past. Here, we, what we're interested in is getting the bite forces at the back of the jaw here. This is where they generate higher bite force. It's, uh, National Geographic gave me some money like to uh, work right with some engineering right colleagues and we designed bite, bite force meters specifically for use on giant crocodilians. Uh, at the time, no one had ever tested a large animal's bite force of, of any kind. So this was, this was really pioneering and we weren't really sure it was going to work, frankly. And so what we do is we take our bite force meter and we pad it with pieces of bull, bull hide like this and we tape that on there. And then we reset our meter, uh, pull our crocodile out, uh, usually strap it down so it's, it's, so it's not gonna be moving about too much. And uh, we tap these animals on the snout and they're more than willing to open up. That's their defensive posture. And then we go ahead and we, I, I set the meter on the back of the jaws here. And as soon as you touch the teeth, it sets off a, uh, a response very much like a human knee jerk. And one minute the jaws here and then boom, it's, it just immediately slammed down on this device. It, it's just blinding how fast it occurs. And we were able to figure out the bite forces of, of adults of every single species of crocodile, and then we were able to figure out what some of these giant animals were, were doing. One of the really exciting things that happened in this research is uh, we estimated a bite force for a large saltwater crocodile of 3,700 pounds, which is the highest bite force ever measured for any living animal. So it's a new world record. We also estimated that even bigger saltwater crocodiles, such as some of the 20-footers that have been historically caught, uh, probably do about 7,700 pounds. So it's just, just amazing bite force. It's almost rivaling T-Rex. And uh, the, the really big crocodiles from the past uh, were, were doing about 23,000 pounds of bite force. That's, that's like setting a Mack truck on the jaws of one of these animals. So, and these, these were dinosaur eaters. They were, they were, they were a match for the, the biggest things that ever lived. So uh, you can imagine also the tooth pressures that go along with this. The, the tooth pressures we measured for some of these animals are in the uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds per, per square inch. So uh, th these animals were, were capable of biting through just about any natural material they came across. Uh, you don't want to get caught by one of these creatures. It's a, you know, a one-way street between those teeth and the gullet, so <laughs> yeah, stay out of harm's way here.